What is the weirdest fish parasite? Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca, I'm a fish biologist, an ichthyologist and also a PhD student. I specialise and study the evolution of lower card catfishes. As an ichthyologist, I do actually see quite a diversity of parasites, but as aquarists we have to deal with a very wide diversity of parasites and diseases, some rarer than others. The most unusual must be the parasitic isopods, and yes, they are in fresh water too. You might be familiar with Simonthia. This isopod replaces the tongue of different fishes. But what if I told you there's an aquarium version or freshwater version? Instead it's much creepier. Meet Rigia, although there are other genera too. It is in the same family as the other tongue-eating isopods a month a day. Although these don't actually replace the tongues. Instead they do much worse. So I must warn you before I show any of the images of it, it is a little bit creepy or disturbing. These freshwater isopods actually dig into the abdomen of the fish where they live in a small crevice within the fish's well, body with also a small hole. So you, sometimes you might be able to see them, but some of these crevices are so tiny or covered by a skin flap. I've actually seen these isopods or parasites around three times. So some of this is actually my own footage. But if you see a fast swimming, what looks like a fish louse, or maybe even a scud sometimes, it's best to catch it soon and actually take a look. Sometimes these isopods do come in with fishes or within fishes, but I've never actually seen that myself within aquarium specimens, but others have.